Morning y'all, it's Julie, Gulf Coast Stitcher, back for an update. Today is, da, 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 I should know this, uh, November 2nd. So yeah, we're already into November, can you believe it? I There's so many things, so many things to do, um, but it's my favorite time of year. Um, I actually have the house opened up today because we have a cold front. My Minnesota friends will appreciate this. Uh, it's like 65 degrees, so the doors are open. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I just want to make it quick today. I've got a ton of stuff um, coming down the pipeline, but not too, too much to share today. Um, Sarah's home. If you hear her bumping around or maybe she'll pop in for a quick hello, um, we're going to run to Starbucks shortly and get our free red cup today if you buy a holiday drink. So yeah, a free reusable red cup. Uh, let's see. S let's talk about my my personal stitching. So I had a finish and it was a start for Midwest. It's the chart. Lily Violet. Santa Claus. And I had a finish. I don't think I had this finished the last time. I may have even had this on the last video, if I did forgive me. I love him. How cute. And I actually pi um, piped. I'm such a cake decorator, I still say piped. I actually am backstitched in the date, which I've never done before. I'm not sure if I love it. Um, but hey, I'll remember what year this was. Not that I would ever forget because I stitched it on the plane to and from um, the retreat. But yeah, so I finished him and he's deceptively um it was a ton of stitches I mean you can tell by looking at it it's a ton of stitches but I think I ended up figuring out there was like 9300 stitches or something um so I got that done I'm currently working on current stitch is um, by LaDonna our very own sampling of memories LaDonna Snellbaker I want to bake stuff, watch Christmas movies, and stitch all day. So, I absolutely love this. This is how far I've gotten on this. But I'm going to have to set it down because I substituted out some colors and I stitched from stash. And I used Weeks Pecan for the Gingerbread Man. And I'm going to I'm going to be able to finish him and then I'm going to run out before I do the other one. So, um... I have an order in, but you know how the threads are these days. You don't ever know if you're going to get them in or not. Um, so that's how far I've gotten on that. And this has been my to-go project. I stitch it in the car um, while I am have my little break in between classes at school. And while I'm waiting on more weeks pecan, unless I can find some in. If I could just find one more skein, I'd be set. I might be able to find some in my stash. I'm going to stitch the Let Us Be Thankful row. And I have this in the shop if you are interested and you love it. And I have all of my flosses picked out. Um, totally stitched from stash conversion on that. I'm getting more confident with that. Once you start that, um, of course, I also will confidently purchase all of the colors. And I have no problem doing that either. But um, yeah. So that's what I've got going on personally. My personal um, st stitchy haul, which is not a lot. This kind of light's kind of blue today. It's we, We're under cloud cover, and I have this light right over my head, but move you around a little bit. So because Michelle Rudy had her finished piece at retreat, and I could not... I mean, I just kept staring at it. It was sitting right across from my table, and she actually had um, one of these kits as a raffle, which I tried to win and did not get. So, um, you know, resistance is futile. I, I bought it on eBay, and it wasn't too expensive. But it I, I'm going to stitch this in spirit of and thinking of um, my short, very short, um, way too fast experience in Minnesota. But... Um, it, it just makes me think of, it will make me think of that trip and I will always remember sitting across from it thinking, I need to stitch that and I need to have it framed similar. She has it in a beautiful barn wood frame. Speaking of Michelle Rudy, um, we love you. Thank you farm girl so much for such a great retreat. Already excited about next fall. Can't wait to get to, to for that to get here. I think I was texting um, Holly and I said, you know, 
I can't believe it's already been a week. This was last week or, or yeah, last week. And I said, only 51 more to go. Um, so we're already on the countdown. So Robbie and I will be making that trip back. Um, Robbie said to me, I I'm not a fan of backstitching. And she was like, I sent her a picture of this and I was like, yeah, I got it. And she was like, backstitch. That's, that's, that, that was her reply. And it's so true. Um, but what I was going to say about Michelle Rudy is she is, uh, hosting a stitch along on Instagram for, um, the, well, I want to tell you that I want to tell you the right name. Hold please. Uh, let's see. It is the Horse Country Holiday by Artful Offerings. Um, and if you guys follow her on Instagram, you'll see that she has um, a hashtag. I'm definitely joining in. I have ordered a lot of them. Um, they're out of, they were out of stock at a lot of shops. And I know that um, Country Sampler is where Michelle recommended buying it from because 123 Stitch was out. But I did order some. So I should have mine. And I don't know if you guys can see. This is Farm Girl's Instagram. Um, probably not. I'm horrible at this. But it's this really cool um, horse. And like I said, I don't have it in stock yet. But it should be here today. So when it comes in, I'll pop in and do just a quick um, update video. Um, she's hosting that stitch along. I'm so excited. I'm such a slow. It'll be over before I get started. But if you love it, there's a ton of awesome conversions online. And I'm going to do my own color conversion too from Stash. So it'd be cool to see. So stay tuned for that. This is my other um, eBay haul, which is Prairie Moon's Cow Weather Vane. I'm a Weather Vane fanatic. I want all the weather vanes. I could care less that this is Prairie Moon in the in the sense of, oh, it's Prairie Moon. I have to collect it. I just love the sweet sentiment. There are four of these. This is the only one I have found at a reasonable price. I will not pay $100 for these. I just can't do it. I have no interest in doing that. So if y'all are sitting on some weather vane stitching or you run across any in a thrift store or you see it anywhere, whether it's Prairie Moon or not, let me know. Buy it for me and I will send you the money for it. Absolutely. So this, um, this is in the pile. So that was all I acquired, actually, believe it or not. Um, so I showed you my plans and my haul. I got some stitchy kindness this week. Um, I'm going to show y'all from, you know how I talk about weird things that like the God or the universe or however you look at the big picture of things kind of connects things. If you look at my last video, I had found a magnolia chart on the freebie table at Midwest that just spoke to me and I loved it so much. And believe it or not, like my whole house is not covered with magnolias, even though I live in the South. Uh, I do, my, my property is covered with magnolias, but, um, it was just a chart that I was, it was a leisure arts chart. You can go back to my last video and see it. I'm in love with it. It's on my must do in 2019, must start in 2019 list. And I came home from Midwest to a sweet card. And can y'all believe it's a Magnolia? Magnolia. So I'm not going to give last names because I never know if it's okay to, but Susan with her Magnolia sent me these sweet little, they're so small. Look at these. These sweet little salt and pepper shakers. And it's a boy and a girl cardinal. And they're so adorable. Thank you so much for that. Absolutely love. Um, I got... I don't want to show any addresses. So, our very own Snug Harbor Crafts, Deb and Kev, sent me such a beautiful handmade... I mean, look at this. Y'all, it's a pumpkin head person. Can you stand it? And, of course, you know they made this. I'm sure... I'm sure Deb made this. Um, Bedazzled, handmade card with lots of paper. It, I absolutely love it. So it was a the well, only Halloween card I got. And it was I was absolutely um, so happy to have it. If y'all haven't gone back and watched, I'm sure it's still posted. They had their stitching party. It was the same weekend that we had uh, Midwest. So I wasn't able to go. Not that I live down the street from them in Utah. Anyway, I'm in Florida. But um, I did jump in online, which was so fun. And then later on, my daughter Sarah jumped in online. Um, Deb, I don't know if I told you that. 
but I think it was a point in time Sarah popped in to say hello when y'all had the camera set up and everybody was kind of doing other things. So you have to go back and check the feed on that and um, see what she had to say. Um, then I got another super sweet card. Look how cute that is. And this was one of those cards that um, was not necessary. None of them are necessary, right? But I wasn't expecting it because it was from... Um, on my Facebook group, which is Gulf Coast Stitches Community. It's a closed group. It's an amazing group of ladies, um, a couple guys. It's a safe place to post your progress, how you're feeling about charts, what you're looking forward to. Um, it's not a buy-sell page, although occasionally I'll de-stash on it, which I've promised to do soon. Um, but more than anything, it's a place to get shop news and get coupon codes and be the first to find stuff out. But I do a quarterly seasonal... I wouldn't even say it's quarterly. I do holiday giveaways. So um, I had one of my customers won um, the fall giveaway, and she sent me a thank you card, which was totally unnecessary, and a Starbucks gift card, which I will be using today to get my free red cup. So thank you so much for that. That's from Patty. Um, so that's my mail. Let's zip through real quick. Shop update. I just recently did a shop update. Things to let you know. Let's see. All the Plum Streets are in and loaded up. Um, I don't have the new Brenda Gervais in stock yet. I'm not on an auto ship with her. Um, I think she's kind of overwhelmed with the response. In fact, even her online shop was closed when I went to try to contact her about doing a direct order. Um, but they'll be available any day through the distributors. So if you're a customer of mine and you're in love with the Brenda Dreve charts, I appreciate you patiently waiting until I get them. We all have plenty to stitch in the meantime, right? Um, what else? Prairie Schooler re-releases are already up on the shop. I showed them last week. I loaded um, some Mirabilia's that I suspect have no nothing to base this on other than conjecture but I suspect a few of them uh, such as Summer and Winter Queen may be going out of stock or out of print um, soon and I think I loaded Cinderella as well. I'm looking over here because there's a box of goodness for the shop. Um, so this is new stuff that I just loaded today. New to, new to my shop. So we have Autumn Girl by Nikki's Cre Creations and also Halloween Girl I also have Spring Girl, Summer Girl, and Sewing Girl, I think. So these are so stinking adorable. I'm, I love the Autumn Girl. So cute. You don't have to stitch them on gingham. You can stitch them on whatever you want. But they're so cute. Um, and this is Tra La La. Uh, something, something, something Autumn. <laughs> I don't know. But birds, birdhouses, Autumn, squirrels. So, And more Plum Street. When I said all the Plum Streets were up, I meant the Eat Crow, uh, Crone on the Hill, Buzz Off, the new ones. These are older, but I couldn't resist. So if I buy for me, I buy for you. So here's the Adams Family. And I know Halloween has passed, but you know what? I stitch Halloween all year long, y'all. Earthly Treasures. Look at this. Michelle Garrett, do you have this? So cute. Oh, I love it. Olga Stocking. Um, because I think it's Jennifer at Whistle Stop. I think she's the one making me want to stitch this, as I recall. I know that, I'm pretty sure that Joe, Linda Joe did it too, but I've recently seen this circulating around again, and yeah, I have to do that. And two more Plum Streets that I couldn't resist. Bounty Sampler, because turkey, bird, more bird corn, all the cuteness. And the last one that I couldn't resist was Penny Autumn. This was stitched um, on the brag table at Midwest, over one, I think. And I mean, it was to die for. So I had to bring it in because I'm into this Penny situation. I like that. All right. Um, Cottage Garden number five. Cottage Garden Songbirds Garden Bird number five is Bluebirds of Happiness. And check this out, y'all. Michelle Garrett, look at this. This is Don't Forget About Me. Don't forget about me? Don't forget me. So you have a stitcher here in this chair. 
look at that creepy ghost. I'm into it. My phone's going off. Sorry, guys. I hope you're still here. You are. Yay. Um, can you see this on Grandpa's sleeve from XG Design? I know I can. I love how it's finished. This has to happen. It's creepy and cool, and who cares if Halloween's already passed. Um, I got some Elizabeth designs in, Elizabeth's Needlework designs, because I saw some people stitching on these at retreat, and I loved it. This is the Vintage Evergreen sampler, and I know that this speaks to summer, but how cool is that? Farmer's Market. It's model stitched on Ada. If you did it on smaller, I think it'd be less pixely, but I love it. And also, last but not least, this was out of stock forever. I realize it's no longer Halloween, but some of us like to stitch seasonally all the time. This is Bats in the Belfry by The Drawn Thread. This was out of stock forever in a day, um, and then I, they randomly showed up. Um, Witchult is one of the distributors that actually back orders things for you. So you go there, you order, you get your box that's not in there, and they say, we'll send it to you when it comes in, and then bam, they actually do. Um, the other distributors do not, um, do not, um, do that. They just say, please order again. The only other thing to talk about real quick, and I'm only, this is 16 minutes, y'all. I'm talking fast. I'm fully caffeinated and I'm ready to go to Starbucks already. Um, the other thing to talk about is, um, Floss Club. Thank you to everybody who paid your invoices. I had a lot of people this this time around that did not. And some people did communicate and um, let me know that they were needed to put it on hold till after the holidays, which, hey, I completely get that, right? We've got, we've got other things to spend our money on other than enhancing our stash. But it did open up some spots. So I did open up the, open up the Google form, um, which has now already been, they've already been filled. So, um, Thank y'all to everybody who squeezed in in this last round. Um, as people, um, I, I know my limitations. I don't want to have a, a floss club with 300 people in it just because I know that I don't have the time to pack 300 floss clubs a month. It takes a lot to pack, to set all that out and pack it all. I mean, I don't know. I know that um, there's a lot of people out there who have multiple floss clubs that they do, and it's, it's a lot. Um, so... I keep mine to a manageable size. Plus, you know, it's a, it's part of my online group, which is a little smaller, which I appreciate. Um, so that's where that comes from. But people do drop out all the time. So let me know if you're interested when it does open up. I'll be happy to send you a link to the um, Google Doc, which is how I do the sign up. So that is rolling out. I will probably ship all of that. I try to do it around the first, but this month just being gone for four days to retreat really got away from me. So it's going to be a couple more days before I get those out. They'll be in the mail no longer than Monday, though. I may get most of them out tomorrow, which will be Saturday and then Sunday. No post run. So we'll see. But um, there is no gentle arts. Um, I'm not going to say much about that other than... Uh, I'm still waiting on an order to be fulfilled from General Arts that I placed in May. Many of you know that story and know those details already, so no need to do that here. I love the General Arts threads. I just can't, um, until they kind of get caught up, I can't count on them for Floss Club. So it will be weeks and um, Classic Colorworks at this point. Um, maybe once they get caught up and um, they replenish some of the stuff that I'm backordered on, then we can start moving forward. But it's very difficult to manage how many colors are backordered from there, and what do I, what am I missing from there? And then, um, you know, I need to order at least ten to fifteen colors a month for a floss club. Not knowing what's going to show up when from them has made it very difficult to do that. So um, until further notice, it will just be weeks and classic color works. But I think most everybody's cool with that too. So I love y'all. Have a great day. I'm going to get this all cleaned up and get the heck out of here for a few hours and come back and do schoolwork. So I love y'all. As soon as I get the Artful Offerings chart in that Farm Girl's doing a stitch along with, I will make sure to do a quick update video. That's it. Y'all have a great day. Bye.